because there wasn't YouTube and then SNS so or easy. something, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's it. <laughs> I'm <was> shocking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, that is I really inspiring. Probably I had like uh, like uh, over 100 VHS uh, tape of movies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I About mean, snowboarding snowboard. Mo snowboard movies. Uh -huh. yep. You just like, if I want to learn this trick, yep. and then I just watch it over of course, and over. Of course, over. yeah, over and over. Yeah, Until yeah. you really learn the trick. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Today we are so happy that I invite my colleague and he's the master of snowboarding. <laughs> master. Can <you> kami. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, <"Oku> kami. No, <laughs> just doing wrong time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not kami. Yeah. I think um, Oku is the legend in Iseko. Like mm. everyone knows he's a really good snowboarder and he also is a very like professional boot feeder. A couple of minutes ago, I discovered that Oku Jiang is also, um, he used to be a park shaper, like park builder. He's not only doing snowboarding, he also does surfing, like surfing in super freezing cold Hokkaido. Today, we are going to tell the story about Oku Jiang. And now we are welcome, Oku-chan. <laughs> hey, hi. Uh, Oku-chan, can you give us a brief introduction of yourself? I'm Koji Okumura. I uh, originally come from West Island of Japan. And uh, I'm snowboarding about 27 years, which when I was uh, 20 years old. Wow. Starting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. And uh, I used to play judo when I was a student. And uh, what? Yeah. Judo. Yeah, judo. Like, yeah. A, the, like a with a knife? Like a, no, no, no. no. <laughs> you don't know judo? Oh. A kind of like a fighting. Uh, just a fighting sport. So. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So before that, you are already very active. Mm. And then yeah. when and how do you start snowboarding? When? So when I was 20 years old. So actually... The story s uh, come from when I was a high school student. So I, I came to Hokkaido when I was uh, 17 years old as a, like a school trip. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was skiing, of course. And uh, I saw one of the only one, one snowboarder at the snow resort. And uh, it was so cool to me. But I didn't know what was that. And uh, after back home, I checked out uh, what was that, and then uh, it was snowboard. Mm -hmm. And then, but uh, only one snowboarder in the uh, in the resort. So wow. the others are just the skiers. Mm -hmm. And uh, it wasn't popular in Japan uh, about like uh, thirty years ago. Yeah. So and then when I was in my hometown, I saw it. Oh, that was so cool! So I want to do it. So how can I do it? I was thinking about it. And then save money and then came to Hokkaido staying uh, like all winters when I was uh, 21 years old. Wow. It, it was started to snowboard in life. So you were being s inspired by the only snowboarder yeah, in that ski resort. Yeah, snowboarder at uh, <laughs> like uh, around Otaru Snow Resort. Hey. Yeah, that, that was impressed to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was he good? Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> actually, I met him after ten years. <gasps> what? <laughs> in the, in the TV program working. What? And then so we are talking about how starting the snowboarding each other, and then. So I told him about my story of starting snowboard, and then he told me, that's me. You know, he's actually a professional snowboarder, wow. and one of the best snowboarders in the Hokkaido. Wow. He was, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then, so it was revealed uh, he was the one. What? Yeah. So, <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Yeah, that's by chance, actually. Yeah. yeah, and he didn't know that when he was snowboarding in that resort, he inspired a little kid. Of course, of course, he didn't know that. Wow, that's such a cool <laughs> start. <laughs> and I remember you told me you won a lottery. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then, so after a school trip, so I knew already uh, snowboard about the snowboard at at when I was like a 20 or oh, 19 years old. 19, yeah. yeah, and then I went to some about Japanese gamble, like a lottery, <laughs> and then I won some much money. Yeah. And then, and then I, it, it 
came up with a、uh, nice idea to be in Hokkaido for snowboarding. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is, sounds like a destiny. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, meant to be, but、uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even more than meant to be, I wanted to try snowboard. Yeah. Yeah.、And、what? After you starting snowboarding, what do you think you like about the snowboarding? Yeah, probably the、uh, biggest reason is freedom. Mm. Yeah, so actually,、uh, we don't have to humor the other people.、Mm. You know, like、uh, I can do what I can, w- what I want to do.、Mm. Y- y- you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's why. So,、uh, usually the sports is always like、uh, many people doing together. Yes. And then、uh, we have to like、uh, humor the others, right? But、uh, the snowboarding is always freedom. So, you can do what you want、mm. on the mountain. Yeah. Like a park, free ride, carving, powder, anything you want to do at the time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you actually like all of them, not like I only love carving or I only like. I do everything, actually. <laughs> you do everything. Yeah, I used to do i n t e n t r y with a half pipe when I was younger. Wow. And even、uh, at the same time, I did、uh, riding on the fresh powder. Mm. And then doing some wrapping terrain park also. I, I Actually, I wanted to be like all round snowboarder. Wow, like、That's、good、like、at everything. Yeah, yeah. I actually, so I'm not, I'm kind of I'm a jack of all trades, but must have none. You know, I can do anything with the snowboarding, but any, there is not any like a、uh, Being specialist, you know? Yeah, but that means like <laughs> you can do. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can do everything. It's really、yeah. like it's very challenging because. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I, I, li- I, like cha- I, like, I like to challenge. Yeah,、yep. and、um, I think any of them、um, is really hard to like start. I wonder, did you ever like take a lesson like、mm. when you were kids?、Mm. Did you have the coach or mentor? No, 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 no. no. <gasps> you l e a r n everything I, I, by yourself? Yeah, I didn't need it. Yeah. What? Actually, yeah. But, like, <laughs> for example, like free riding or even a half pipe, yeah. it, wouldn't it be like really scary if you、e- just try yourself? E- yeah, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> like、yeah. pushing a limit. Yeah,、mm. pushing a limit al- always. Yeah, even.、Uh, <coughs> mm, yeah. Anyway. What's、yeah. your trick when you're learning by yourself? Did you l e a r n i n g by watch or reading the、oh、books? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to DVD. Oh! DVD or v- VHS video? What? You know, VHS video, usually. No, no. <laughs> what's VHS? <laughs> do, do you know VHS? You no. don't know? No. <laughs> oh, no, before, before the d- DVD.、Oh. You know DVD, right? Yeah, I know R- DVD. Like, like this one? Uh uh. Like a CD, looks、yeah. like a CD. Yeah, yeah. But before C- like a DVD, we used to、uh, use some like a VHS. Is it like a square? Me- means like a, like a, like a rectangle shaped、uh, oh. cassette tape. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, know, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I know and、that. then, so like a tape. Wow. You know, like always wrapping, wrapping, and then watching, watching the、wow. DVD.、Uh, no, 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 like a D- VHS. And then eventually, VHS is worn out because watching too much. <laughs> because always taping, right? Oh my god. Yeah, not DVD. Not yeah, yeah, like a the, digital the thing. It looks like black, right? Yeah,、the、yeah, exactly.、Thing. Yeah.、What? Yeah. And then eventually, so cannot watch it because too every day, like watching to learn some tricks or something.、Uh, yeah. Wow.、Mm. Shocking. So actually, my, my teacher is DVD or VHS because there wasn't YouTube. And then SNS、so、or something, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's、Ooh. it. <laughs> I'm shocking. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that is I really insane. Probably I had like,、uh, like uh, over 100 VHS、uh, t a p e of movies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, snowboarding snowboarding. Mo- snowboard movies.、Uh-huh. Yep. You just like, if I want to learn this trick,、yep. and then I just watch it over of course, and over. Of course, over. yeah, over and over. Yeah, Until yeah. you really learn the trick. Yeah, exactly. Wow.、Well, mm. And I think back in the day, they don't have like iPhone or anything to film like、Nothing. how you write, right? Yeah, yeah. So,、mm. how do you know like if your position is correct? You just keep on doing. Yeah, actually, I was lucky. Uh, because uh, after s- starting the snowboarding, three years, maybe ag- I got some、uh, like、oh. videographer. Yeah, videographer.、Mm. And then he 
took my riding for me or uh, took my riding for making the snowboard movie. Wow. So that's why mm. so I can check my own my riding. Ah. So and then oh this is bad. Oh this is okay. Uh, this is I should be fixed this one or something. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, by that time because like nowadays mm. everyone holding like Insta 360, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's so easier mm. these days. But yeah, back yeah. in the days, you definitely need someone. Yeah, yeah, who yeah. is also good enough mm. to trace you by filming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I had a crew actually. Wow. I was lucky. Yeah. Yeah. So you fun. you get the crew through your riding. Like yeah, exactly. You keep riding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mm. oh. Always by chance, by chance, by chance. So meet friend and meet friends of friend and then uh-huh. so spread my like a relation with the snowboarders mm-hmm. and the snowboarding world. So and then yeah, finally. So mm. you say you've been like uh, snowboarding three years in Hokkaido, which means you are moving from your hometown, coming to Hokkaido to trace what you love, right? Mm, yeah. Wow, mm. that's also like a really big decision. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it was kind mm. of. Okujan, you told me before. You start. Um, you are not starting in Niseko. You were living in Asaki Kawa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. First of all, mm-hmm. I yeah, I decided to live in uh, Asaki Kawa first because there were three half pipe in the one resort. Mm. So it was only the Asaki Kawa house. Yeah, yeah. Is it the Kamui? Kamui ski rinks. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. there's many good like a uh, snowboarders. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Ro- there. Lot of like a. Uh, Professional snowboarders or top amateur ah. uh, from all over Japan, mm. and then there were probably over three hundred snowboarders to try half pipe. Three hundred. Yeah, at the time. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> then you did you join a lot of competition as well? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I used to. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so uh, when you move from your hometown to Hokkaido, mm. uh, do you think snowboarding brings you a different lifestyle? Yeah, of course, of course. What's yeah. the difference? What's the difference? So yeah. uh, thanks for snowboarding. I went to some other country for snowboarding and I could learn English as well. Even uh, always in the nature in Hokkaido. So so actually, compared to my hometown, my hometown is quite uh, like a big city, Fukuoka, mm. like a really dense and without nature. And then so yeah, heaps different actually. Yeah. Yeah, and then what different? Yeah, like a better thinking f- for life. Oh really? Than before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the most biggest thing. Uh, I thanks for snowboarding. I met my wife. And then thanks for snowboarding. I met. I could get job like this, like here in mm. Hanazono. So that's amazing for me, even yeah. because I used to like. Uh, how can I say? Very lazy and rough person. Yeah, but snowboarding makes me improve it actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, finally. Yeah. And when you say like a snowboarding, give you a lot of freedom. You feel the freedom. Yeah, yeah, freedom and, and anything. Yeah, snowboard g- gave me anything. So gi- giving me actually giving me uh, yeah anything. Mm. Yeah, wow. Life, friends, wife, better personality. Wow. Yeah, I get better shape of my body <laughs> than yeah. before, and then uh, stronger. Uh, how can I say stronger heart than before? Mm. Mentality. Yeah. <laughs> mentality, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Stronger mentality than before. Yeah, yeah, a lot of like a benefit yeah, from snowboard. Yeah. I was also thinking like when you said you have to practice many times mm. to achieve like a new s- trick, kind of like the challenging that people mm. in their life, they don't really like to take the risk. Mm-hmm. But through the snowboarding, that's how I find sometimes I need to practice a lot mm. to go further, to yeah. go higher mm-hmm. or to see more places. Mm-hmm. And I think like snowboarding is really magical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And also, For let me too. yeah appreciate winter more. Mm. We are here mm. in Niseko Hanazono, mm. and we are both working in Niseko yeah. Sports. Yep. Okujang is like the best food fitter. So many people <laughs> coming you. here for thank your thank um, you. yeah. yeah. I wonder how do you become a food fitter? How become? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, like. Uh, our bo- biggest boss, uh, Mr. Corey, made uh, like a, how can I say, like a, made, made, uh, wanted to do 
uh, like a boost for the business. Mm. And then he specified me to be uh, like a booth fitter. Mm. Who yeah. knows the snowboarding, the boots and everything the best, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be Needs a yeah. lot of experience. Yeah, yeah. Maybe from my experience. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. but uh, And then I accept it and then become a uh, booth fitter. And before that, you say you are also a park builder for yeah, like yeah, nine yeah. years. Yeah, nine, wi nine, nine winters up here. Even two summers in Mount Hood as well. Wow. When I was younger. Uh -huh. Yeah. How does it, like, a park builder, like, what do you do? How do you design what kind of park? Yeah, of course, the uh, most important thing is safety. Mm. Safety, like a balance. Yeah. Make it, make them good balance, like a kicker under landing. And then how, how far, and then how, how steep the landing, how, how, pop up the kickers, you know, make the balance. That's wow. the most important. So you also have to calculate like the angles and things like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you have to study in a books about like how they build it? No, or you just no. based on your experience? F from my experience only, of wow. course, because I ride many park in other country, even in Japan as well. Mm -hmm. So, and then even I made a kicker by myself on the natural terrain. So I knew uh, which shape is uh, easy to jump. Oh. So I, kn I knew that. That's why so in my brain, everything in my brain. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then I, I can remember. test it by myself, you yeah. know, because I'm a snowboarder. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. build, design, and then build by snow machine driver, and then check it, and then shaping, and then jump by myself first. Yeah. And then decided it's okay or not. Wow. Yeah. And uh, you also write a lot of park in, of course, in of here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, oh, of course. I wish I can see it. <laughs> 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 yeah. As a boot feeder, because I see like so many people mm. coming for Okujang for yeah, solving yeah. their boot problem. Mm, no. And what would you recommend people when they're choosing their snowboard boots? Mm, yeah. So usually people choose uh, uh, like a little bit bigger size than like accurate size, actually. Mm. So for make it comfortable. But uh, so when you try the snowboard boots at the s at the at the shop, so you should feel little bit little bit tighter, actually. Oh. Yeah, because uh, after you use some I don't know five times or ten times, the liner will be packed out, and then the inside of the liner will be more roomy mm. than when you buy it when right. you bought it. So that's why you, so I want you to calculate your future after uh, after many times riding mm. or next year, next month, next week, next month, next year. And then you can decide that, uh, which pressure you need from the new pair of the boots. Mm. Mm. Uh, sometimes I also see people like they're selling their boots because they think, oh, maybe I buy it too small, but they mm. only ride one or two times. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. maybe they should also wait like riding a, a few more times. I exactly, exactly. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because uh, uh, if there are uh, like a hundred people, even there are uh, hundred types of the foot feet shape. Yeah. So that's why. So, yeah. Exact. So as you mentioned it, like uh, so, you should try uh, some a few more e times. Some extent times. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a mm -hmm. few more times or something. Yeah. If they only ride once, it's like oh, it's so mm, tight, I can't that's bear. Difficult to dis make it this definition actually. Mm. Yeah. That's it. Okujang is also a sponsorship uh, mm. rider. Yeah, yeah. From yeah. many, many, uh, so many brands, and mm. you also on the magazine. Yeah, yeah. I you believe, see. like, I'm so curious, like, how did you get the sponsored, and yeah, yeah. what is the responsibility of being a mm. sponsored <laughs> yeah, rider? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So responsibility is advertisement, obviously. Advertisement for the sponsors. So and then how did I get the sponsors? So actually, when I was younger, so I got sponsor from uh, competition win. Mm. Yeah, when I won the competition, some company staff uh, come to me and then uh, tell me if you want to use our product. Okay. But I'm not go to uh, competition anymore. So how can I keep the sponsors? 
people around me mm-hmm. always helping. Oh, yeah, okay. so uh, actually I cannot do by myself. Yeah. So, you know, I need a he- lot of help mm. people around me. Mm-hmm. So that's it, actually. Mm-hmm. Most important is people around you. Right. People around me. Yeah, they are help, helped me uh, or helping me a lot. Yeah, I believe it. it's because you show them your passion. Like yeah, yeah, passion. Like even passion is more important. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, yeah, I think m- the passion is important than skill mm. of snowboarding, I guess, or even like a personality. Mm. Yeah, is more important. That's very guaranteed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, you think so? Thank you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so <laughs> personality is mm. really important as well. When I say so, it's because um, Okujang is very willing to share his knowledge to everyone. Mm. So, mm. including myself and many people, like my my colleagues, they will always come back to mm. from their writing and ask Okujang about mm. advice. You are never like being selfish to not sharing your own knowledge. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't know. <laughs> you always solve the problem for yeah. everyone. I'm so. trying to be. And we were talking about like responsibility mm. of uh, mm. being s- a sponsorship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Do you have to r- like uh, write in certain time? Yeah, or yeah. Yeah, even that, of course. So most important thing is uh, like, uh, how can I say? Uh, like an image, making the like a good image mm. uh, to the people around me first. Yeah, even uh, trying to be on the magazine, trying to be on the SNS or snowboarding movie. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of like uh, responsibility, like mm. advertisement. Yeah. yeah, do the promotion for yeah, the brand. Yeah, pro- promotion. Use yeah. their product. <coughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah. Promote their product. Yeah. Mm, <coughs> as I long see. as I can. Wow. Yeah, I should do it. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I can do it really tiny, tiny things. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Where have you been snowboarding? You mean in Hokkaido or in j- all over Japan? Uh, all over Japan. Uh. Or oh, I just remember you also went snowboarding in other countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe you can share with us what's your best. Um, riding mm. mo- memories. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Best riding memories uh, at uh, Switzerland. So I tried to biggest hip mm. probably when I was 31 years old or something. Yeah, that's the biggest memory for me. So and then I did it. And then after I did it, I had some injury. Like a big injury as well. Oh. <laughs> That's memorable <laughs> things. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, the best jump and best fell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why? Exactly. Biggest jump, biggest fell. Why? Yeah. And yeah. what what is uh, like a natural intera- natural terrain? Uh, so actually, in Hokkaido is the uh, uh, best for riding with uh, fresh powder. Mm, yeah, yeah, for sure. For, that's for sure. And then, yeah, around here would be good, of course. Niseko. Yeah, even uh, around the Furano. So when I have, uh, when I had uh, like a snowmobile, we used to go to around the Furano for snowmobile and uh, uh, location hunting by a sn- uh, snowmobile and then do it. Wait, so I have a question. Yeah. When you ride your snowmobile up mm. the hill and you ski down or you snowboard down, yeah. How did you get your s- top of the mountain? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, put the bottom of the uh, like uh, face. Uh-huh. I mean, just put the bottom of the hill, and then hike up. Hike up so to get it. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Hike up to to get the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, from bottom of the hill. Oh. You know? So snowmobile d- uh, using until the bottom of mountain. Ah, okay, you know? okay. And yeah. then after that, so just uh, Hike hi- up. hiking up by myself. Ah, oh, yep. okay. And then go down mm. and you go back yeah. with a snowmobile. Yeah, but sometimes like we d- we did some like a uh, tandem, like a two two person in in one uh, snowmobile. Ah, okay. And then one guy snowboarding down, one guy snowmobile down. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and then rotating. What they think, what they think, right? Wow, that. teamwork, so teamwork, yeah, teamwork. Yeah. yeah, I need a crew, but I don't have a crew now so far that I, I don't do snowmobile an- anymore. Mm. Yeah, so, so far, <laughs> <laughs> so far. Yep. not yet, no, yeah. yeah. And I wonder when you say like the 
biggest um, injured. Yeah. Yeah, the injury about after your big jump. Mm. Uh, that's also one thing I ask. I want to ask because you do this extreme sports, mm. you definitely will like um, get injured. Yeah, yeah. How do you overcome the fear after you get such a big injured? Just trust in yourself. Get back uh, some like a normal feeling, and then try to some jump or train park. Mm. Mm. Yeah, actually, really scary. Yeah. Uh, after I get some big injury, yeah. Did you hit the rock or you just land? It didn't land in on the big jump. Mm. So actually, on the biggest hip, I fell on the top top of the hip on the flat. And then wasn't broke any bone, but uh, like, uh, how can I say, like uh, vibration or my body about 10 minutes after I fell down at <gasps> there. And I thought, oh, I couldn't walk anymore. Mm. Oh my gosh, no more snowboarding or something. I thought. Yeah. But uh, after 10 minutes, my body uh, works well, but uh, I couldn't walk well. Two months after that, <laughs> wow. even it was a struggle to get the restroom three meters away. Yeah, it was a struggle. Yeah, mm. yeah. Even like uh, I broke my jawbone, yeah. hit, hit the tree, and then I had to get uh, some surgery here. I put uh, some oh, titan metal, titan material, and the uh, four bolts. So this is kind of like most struggle injury. <laughs> wow, it sounds really scary. Yeah, yeah. But it didn't stop you from doing what you love. You still keep on going. Yeah, yeah, after that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, mm. I, I didn't meant to quit the snowboarding mm. even after I get uh, some surgery or yeah. injury. Have you become more preserved? After the injury, like you don't ever do the such a big I jump. I didn't want to like a kind of preserve by myself, so mm. I just wanted to push, push, push after uh, get the injury too. <laughs> 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 just, just to co go forward. <laughs> when I was younger. Uh, yeah, yeah. It mm. just feels like it's just an injury, but you still you don't want it to stopping you just from running. where you want. Just to running, you know. Mm. Mm. Wow, injury just as you can think isn't? about your life when you have like an injury mm. when you cannot snowboarding, so stay you have to stay home or on the bed in the hospital ho hospital, so you can do just the thinking about yourself. <laughs> yeah, okay. injury is learning. Okay, you know? injury is learning. Quote. Learning. Yeah. <laughs> Quote from Okudan. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah. So, so here, like, uh, when we start, uh, uh, just starting the conversation, mm. and I said, you are not only love snowboarding, you also love surfing. Yeah. And um, if people think about surfing, they will think about like a tropical islands, mm. like a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. warm weather. However, mm. Okujang, you're serving in Hokkaido, like yeah. really cold, even mm. in the winter, yeah. in the snow. I do, yeah. <laughs> Where did you go surfing in Hokkaido? It's not surfing in Hokkaido really cold, like freezing. Yeah, actually freezing, of course. <laughs> 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 Still, I, I feel freezing. <laughs> but uh, so actually, I have like uh, good dry suits uh, for surfing in Hokkaido. Oh. So that's protect me from uh, coldest temperature of the <laughs> <laughs> water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that how can be. How cold is the water here? Rest five degrees. Wow. Like two, three, five. Two, Whoa. three, four, five degrees <laughs> it's like in the winter time. Oh my God. Mm. And even snowing. Yeah, even snowing as usual when, when there is a wave. Wow. Yeah, usually uh -huh. yeah, in the winter time. Mm. Did you find there is a common... Um, area in between surfing and snowboarding are they very similar do you got the same feeling when you're riding on the wave and riding on the snow some point similar feeling mm -hmm. some point but generally different mm. Mm. And generally different why would why do you like about surfing what do you like about surfing uh yeah freedom <laughs> 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 and uh, like uh, like a nice feeling as yeah. well on, on the water Riding on the water is feeling, feeling way different compared to riding on the snow. Yeah, sure, like a different. I believe it's very, very like uncertain. Like, 
at first you need to be very patient because you always have to wait for the good wave. Of course, of course, yeah. And then yeah. you have to when you in the snow, you're just landing on the ground. You're mm. not going anywhere. Yeah. But yeah, in yeah. the ocean, if you're falling off, maybe you don't know where you are. Like yeah, yeah, water yeah. And yeah, of course, really frightened. Mm. Frightened uh, when when I'm in the water. Yeah. Yeah, especially in the winter time. Yeah. Because cold, nobody around me, and then s- the movement is not as like uh, uh, doing summertime. Yeah. Mm. So because cold, yeah, li- little bit body is always intense. stiff, stiff, oh, yeah, very intense. intense. Yeah, wow. and then and then cold. Yeah, frightened. But yeah. you still you love that excitement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. Do you think? Because I interview a friend. He said he also loved to um, surfing during the winter, and he said because it's very quiet, like yeah. there's a peace. Yeah, exactly. Do you also find that yeah. feeling? Yeah, oh. I do. So, in summer in Hokkaido, is the surfing spots also very popular? Like, is it crowded? Yeah, some spots has been crowded in summertime. Mm. Yeah, but most of spot isn't aren't uh, crowded. Mm. Not not like Honshu. Not uh, like mainland of, of Japan. Uh, or yeah. like in Miyazaki, it's very yeah. popular. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Re- of course, less than Miyazaki. Mm. Yeah. And where mm. is your best surfing spot in Hokkaido? Can you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, closest spot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to drive wrong way. Mm. So that's why. Oh. So I, I don't care of uh, quality of waves. Mm. That's closest. The closest. Yeah, 30 minutes driving by car. Uh, wow. Yeah. What's the name of the prefecture? Mm, yeah, uh, around uh, Tomari. Uh, Tomari. Around Tomari or around Iwanai. Uh, oh, yeah. Iwanai. Yeah, closest. Yeah. Closest spot. So, y- y- did you see the ocean from the Iwanai? No, I haven't. Oh, really? No? You, should, you should go. <laughs> Just only 30 to 40 minutes by car yeah, to okay. get there. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I will go. I want, yeah. to, I want to see. I haven't seen the ocean in Hokkaido. I always inside the mainland. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So actually, Hokkaido's ocean is quite beautiful. Wow. Maybe mm. I will render a s- surfboard there <laughs> <laughs> if I can. Uh, except for winter time, please. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think I would dare to go <laughs> in the water. <laughs> Where's your um, favorite uh, snowboarding area that you would recommend to other people? Mm, so you mean except for Niseko, right? Yeah, except for Niseko. Frano? Frano. Yeah. Asahi Dake? Mm, yeah, like that's one yeah. I really want to go to. Yeah, 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 that's nice. Is it a, do you mean by ski resort or backcountry? Like half and half, actually. That's uh, quite <laughs> yeah. complicated. Like it looks more like a natural mountain. Mm. But there is some like a uh, grooming barn mm. by snow machine. And but it uh, looks not snow resort, actually. Almost some natural terrain. Like uh, Asahi Dake? Yeah, yeah, Asahi uh, Dake. So I mean. they can take the gondola up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then come down. Come down, yeah. Is it dangerous without a backcountry guide? No, I don't think so because there is some, like a truck uh, by okay. grooming. Mm. So that's why, so you wouldn't rust in, uh. the, in the resort. And yeah, easy to get back. But if you go to some, like outside of the like a grooming, mm. so that's uh, you can get lost easy. Mm. Yeah, I see. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I think uh, so. Asahi Take was my plan this year to yeah. like I want to go, but mm. also the weather like yeah, it yeah. really crucial about mm. the weather condition. Yeah, it's yeah. Too windy. Or yeah, something. yeah, exactly. So usually, so Asahi Take can be right like being more stable weather mm. from uh, middle of March, usually. Oh, yeah. middle of March. Yeah, yeah. Before middle of March, always like a snowing, windy, snowing, white out. And then like uh, too cold as well. Mm. <laughs> yeah. but probably minus 20, <laughs> minus 25, <laughs> easily. What? That's mm. really cold place. Yep. Um, so almost finished this uh, interview. And mm. the last thing I just wonder, Okujang, you think about snowboarding. What would you think what snowboarding means to you? Snowboarding, keep riding means. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm, 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 myself? Yourself? Yeah, I guess so. So, yeah, yeah slow is everything to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, not every, every, everything, but uh, mm, that's composed m my life uh, probably over... 70%, percent, eighty percent by snowboarding. And you think you will continue keep riding until the day? Yeah, you yeah, you yeah, yeah. Until until I cannot. Wow. Yeah, that's I don't know where it is, but uh, yeah, I won't. Yeah, that's <laughs> the the spirit of the rider. <laughs> 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 yeah, thank you so much, Okujan. Yeah, yeah, thank no you. problem at all. Thank show. you, Adi. Arigatou. Bye. <laughs>